Okay, so we are nearly at the end of the challenge and I just wanted to do one more video on arm undulations to give you a little bit more technique on a different arm positioning that you might want to do with your arm undulations. So we're going to take the arms up above the head and you have this option of moving from the elbow and allowing the energy to push out of the fingertips, which is very pretty. But what I like to do is bring the energy further down the arm and all the way into the shoulder and upper back, allowing it to travel from there all the way along the arms and out of the fingertips for that real ethereal, otherworldly, seaweedy look. And release. So this can be really challenging. This is why we do all of these exercises, strengthening our, our shoulders, strengthening our arm muscles, strengthening our upper back muscles. And um, because it's a pretty challenging thing to do this rotation with the arms above the head and make it look fluid and elegant. What's going on here is I'm really thinking about, as always, putting the shoulder blade down the back and squeezing the shoulder blade in towards the spine. The elbow obviously can't lift now, but it's kind of pulling back behind me too too much but just a little bit to get that rotation in there then as I pull the shoulder blade down I'm allowing the uh, elbow crease to rotate so the elbow crease is forwards now and then the elbow crease is coming back so you can think about pulling the elbow point back and then allowing it to fall forwards let's do the other arm so again thinking about putting the elbow point back the crease is coming forwards and then allowing it to switch. Starting the movement from the uh, shoulder blade, pulling it in towards the spine and then releasing it down. So in and down and in, pull down and in, pull down. So what's happening in the rest of the arm is I'm really actually, I'm, I feel like I'm engaging my uh, lower arms even more here to really get the energy traveling from the elbow, then out of the forearm and out of the fingertips. So elbow, shoulder, and then allow the forearm to rotate and the energy to travel through the wrist and out of the fingertips. So shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers and out, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers and out. And keeping it moving. And breathing. And don't worry if you feel like there's not a lot happening at the moment or it feels super challenging. This one takes a lot of practice. So keep working on it and it will come. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of energy through the hands but I'm not pushing through the hands like this. All of the energy I feel is really being generated from my upper back and I'm allowing that to flow through the arms and then out of the fingertips. And let's bring the arms down, shake them out for a moment, give them a rest. Let's take one arm in front, opening up across the back, and release. Other side, shoulder down, and release. So now we're going to do a little practice with both the stars of arm undulation. So going from horizontal, I said both, but I feel like we're going to do three different versions actually. So there's a kind of an arm ripple where the hands stay pretty still in space. Rotating shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, out. Then we can allow the arms to travel a little bit more, reaching from the top of the head down to just below shoulder height, ATS style. It's the same movement all the way through, however, really focusing on the energy traveling all the way from your center 
and out past the fingertips. Bringing the arms up and keeping that same energy going, squeezing the shoulder blades in towards the spine alternately and then down. So in and down on the left, in and down on the right, in and down, in and down. And you can allow the arms to float back down Coming back to horizontal, got a bigger one here again, the ATS stylization. And then if you like to transition back to the arm ripple where the hands are a little bit more still, allowing that energy to travel through the shoulders and out of the fingertips. Are you still breathing? Again, let's walk the arms all the way up. One more time above the head, squeezing the shoulder blades in. And bringing them back down. Back to the little ripple. And then taking it a bit bigger. and then floating down. 